Well, hello, it's Bruce Williams again, and today I want to finish up this series on the selective gross pathology of the cardiovascular system with what I think is going to be its shortest lecture, and that's on neoplastic disease of the heart. I want to thank all of my friends and colleagues around the world who provided such outstanding images to me, either directly or through online collections, which have allowed me to put these lectures together. Let's start with a classic tumor of older large breed dogs, including German Shepherds and Golden Retrievers. And this is hemangiosarcoma. And there are three sites in which hemangiosarcomas love to arise in the dog, the liver, the spleen, and the right atrium. And here's an extensive tumor of the heart. You can see it's dissected underneath the atria as well. There are some fibrous tags which suggest that there has been significant amounts of fluid or blood within the pericardial sac for a while. Another neoplasm um, which is commonly discussed are those tumors that affect the heart base. I don't like the, the, uh, the term heart-based tumors for this. As my friend John King used to say, if you had a tumor on your big toe, would you refer to it as a big toe tumor? Well, you might, but it's not very scientific. So let's just look at the different types of tumors that may pop up at the heart base. For these, I'd just like to give a nice differential diagnosis. It's very difficult to tell one from the other on gross appearance, except maybe for the hemangiosarcoma, which we just looked at. The number one neoplasm of the heart base, actually, if you take out the hemangiosarcomas, is a thyroid adenocarcinoma. These tumors like to travel, and there's a whole lot of ectopic thyroid tissue in the heart base. And if you look at ectopic tissue, it's about 400 times as likely to result in a tumor than tissues in their normal location. So number one on my list is going to be thyroid adenocarcinoma. The second one are going to be the chemodectomas, which includes your aortic body and your carotid body tumors, which like this spot because that is where they are normally located. This is a good one to run certain uh, immunohistochemical stains, such as synaptophysin, which should light them up very nicely. Maybe also a little chromogranin A. Um, you'll also see lymphoma pop up here due to the concentration of lymphoid tissue in and around the mediastinum and the heart base. And then ectopic parathyroid uh, tumors can rarely pop up here. So uh, top of the list, thyroid carcinoma. Here's a rare one. I've only seen three, and there's a wonderful picture. It's the only gross picture I've seen, and thank you so much. Uh, Rob Osiboff, who took this picture when he was at Cornell University, and this is a tumor of the valve. Remember we talked about uh, endocardiosis and fibromyxomas degeneration? This is a myxoma, a tumor that arises from the fibroblasts of the heart valves, and they produce a ground substance-like stuff, so a valvular myxoma. That's a rare one. So. You know, you're not going to see a lot of these come along. This may very well be the only one you ever get to see. There's an old joke. I've got a cat's heart under the table. What's it got? And the answer is lymphoma. Well, this could be a cat heart. This happens to be a cow's heart. And the old joke is pretty much similar to the cow, except they get two different neoplasms that... Uh, uh, look very much alike. So if I showed you a picture, you have to give me a differential diagnosis. Uh, cardiac lymphoma is very common in bovine retrovirus infected animals. About 30% or so will have foci of lymphoma in the heart. And they are just, you know, poorly circumscribed white nodules within the myocardium. And when you cut them, they're going to bulge like white fish flesh, but the animals will probably have tumors elsewhere. Another neoplasm looks very much like, the, like this, and a wonderful picture from Kim Newkirk of the University of Tennessee is 
a peripheral nerve sheath tumor. For some reason, cattle will develop these tumors, and you can see how much it looks like that lymphoma, but they will develop these tumors within the myocardium as well. The only other species I know that does something like this is the rat, where endocardial schwannomas, a related tumor, um, is not unheard of, or at least not uncommon. So peripheral nerve sheath tumors are lymphoma in the uh, heart of a cow, and that's what they make microscopes for, so we can sort these out. Hey, that's about it. I'm sure there are probably a lot of other one-offs and rare tumors of the heart I can throw in, but why? Uh, I gave you the valvular myxoma, so I think that that's, uh, that's enough rare tumors for one day. Hey, I really thank you for hanging in there. Hopefully you've sat through all of these lectures on the cardiovascular system. I really appreciate it. I hope you'll come back to the Foundation's Facebook or YouTube channels or the AFIPs or the JPC's video library to view some more of these videos. We're just working our way through all the systems, and I don't think we have that many left, two or three more. So uh, I really appreciate it, you for sitting through this lecture, and I want to wish you good health and a great day.